The Einstein field equations are the set of ten equations in Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity that describes the fundamental interaction of gravitation as a result of spacetime being curved by matter and energy. First published by Einstein in 1915 as a tensor equation, the FA equates local spacetime curvature with the local energy and momentum within that spacetime. Similar to the way that electromagnetic fields are determined using charges and currents via Maxwell's equations, the FA are used to determine the spacetime geometry resulting from the presence of mass energy and linear momentum, that is, they determine the metric tensor of spacetime for a given arrangement of stress energy in the spacetime. The relationship between the metric tensor and the Einstein tensor allows the FA to be written as a set of nonlinear partial differential equations. When used in this way, the solutions of the FA are the components of the metric tensor, the inertial trajectories of particles and radiation in the resulting geometry are then calculated using the geodesic equation, as well as obeying local energy momentum conservation. The FA reduced to Newton's law of gravitation where the gravitational field is weak and velocities are much less than the speed of light. Exact solutions for the FA can only be found under simplifying assumptions such as symmetry. Special classes of exact solutions are most often studied as they model many gravitational phenomena, such as rotating black holes and the expanding universe. Further simplification is achieved in approximating the actual spacetime as flat spacetime with a small deviation, leading to the linearized FA. These equations are used to study phenomena such as gravitational waves. Mathematical form The Einstein field equations may be written in the form where is the Ricci curvature tensor, is the scalar curvature, is the metric tensor, is the cosmological constant, is Newton's gravitational constant, is the speed of light in vacuum, and is the stress energy tensor. The FA is a tensor equation relating a set of symmetric 4 times 4 tensors. Each tensor has 10 independent components. The four Bianchi identities reduce the number of independent equations from 10 to 6, leaving the metric with four gauge fixing degrees of freedom, which correspond to the freedom to choose a coordinate system. Although the Einstein field equations were initially formulated in the context of a four-dimensional theory, some theorists have explored their consequences in n dimensions. The equations in contexts outside of general relativity are still referred to as the Einstein field equations. The vacuum field equations define Einstein manifolds. Despite the simple appearance of the equations they are actually quite complicated. Given a specified distribution of matter and energy in the form of a stress energy tensor, the FA are understood to be equations for the metric tensor, as both the Ricci tensor and scalar curvature depend on the metric in a complicated nonlinear manner. In fact, when fully written out, the FA are a system of 10 coupled, nonlinear, hyperbolic elliptic partial differential equations. One can write the FA in a more compact form by defining the Einstein tensor which is a symmetric second rank tensor that is a function of the metric. The FA can then be written as using geometrized units where G equals C equals 1. This can be rewritten as the expression on the left represents the curvature of space-time as determined by the metric, the expression on the right represents the matter-energy content of space-time. The FA can then be interpreted as a set of equations dictating how matter, energy determines the curvature of space-time. These equations, together with the geodesic equation, which dictates how freely falling matter moves through space-time, form the core of the mathematical formulation of general relativity. Sign convention The above form of the FA is the standard established by Misner, Thorne, and Wheeler. The authors analyzed all conventions that exist and classified according to the following three signs. The third sign above is related to the choice of convention for the Ricci tensor. With these definitions Misner, Thorne, and Wheeler classify themselves as, whereas Weinberg is, Peebles and F. Stathieu are while Peacock. 
Rindela, Atwater, Collins, Martin and Squires are. Authors including Einstein have used a different sign in their definition for the Ricci tensor which results in the sign of the constant on the right. Side being negative the sign of the cosmological term would change in both these versions. If the plus minus 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 metric sign convention is used rather than the MTW minus plus 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 metric sign convention adopted here, equivalent formulations taking the trace with respect to the metric of both sides of the FA1 gets where is the space-time dimension. This expression can be rewritten as if one adds times this to the FA, one gets the following equivalent trace reversed form for example. In dimensions this reduces to reversing the trace again would restore the original FA. The trace reversed form may be more convenient in some cases. The cosmological constant. Einstein modified his original field equations to include a cosmological constant term proportional to the metric since is constant. The energy conservation law is unaffected. The cosmological constant term was originally introduced by Einstein to allow for a universe that is not expanding or contracting. This effort was unsuccessful because the universe described by this theory was unstable and Observations by Edwin Hubble confirmed that our universe is expanding. So, Einstein abandoned, calling it the biggest blunder he ever made. Despite Einstein's motivation for introducing the cosmological constant term, there is nothing inconsistent with the presence of such a term in the equations. For many years the cosmological constant was almost universally considered to be zero. However, recent improved astronomical techniques have found that a positive value of is needed to explain the accelerating universe. Einstein thought of the cosmological constant as an independent parameter, but its term in the field equation can also be moved algebraically to the other side, written as part of the stress-energy tensor. The resulting vacuum energy is constant and given by the existence of a cosmological constant is thus equivalent to the existence of a non-zero vacuum energy. Thus the terms cosmological constant and vacuum energy are now used interchangeably in general relativity. Features Conservation of energy and momentum General relativity is consistent with the local conservation of energy and momentum expressed as which expresses the local conservation of stress energy. This conservation law is a physical requirement. With his field equations Einstein ensured that general relativity is consistent with this conservation condition. Nonlinearity The nonlinearity of the FA distinguishes general relativity from many other fundamental physical theories. For example, Maxwell's equations of electromagnetism are linear in the electric and magnetic fields and charge and current distributions. Another example is Schrödinger's equation of quantum mechanics which is linear in the wave function. The correspondence principle the FA reduced to Newton's law of gravity by using both the weak field approximation and the slow motion approximation. In fact, the constant g appearing in the FA is determined by making these two approximations. Vacuum field equations by setting in the trace reverse field equations, the vacuum equations can be written as in the case of non-zero cosmological constant. The equations are the solutions to the vacuum field equations are called vacuum solutions. Flat Minkowski space is the simplest example of a vacuum solution. Non-trivial examples include the Schwarzschild solution and the Kerr solution. Manifolds with a vanishing Ricci tensor are referred to as Ricci flat manifolds and manifolds with a Ricci tensor proportional to the metric as Einstein manifolds. Einstein-Maxwell equations If the energy-momentum tensor is that of an electromagnetic field in free space, i.e., if the electromagnetic stress-energy tensor is used, then the Einstein field equations are called the Einstein-Maxwell equations. Additionally, the covariant Maxwell equations are also applicable in free space, where the semicolon represents a covariant derivative and the brackets denote anti-symmetrization. 
The first equation asserts that the four divergence of the two form f is zero, and the second that its exterior derivative is zero. From the latter, it follows by the Poincaré lemma that in a coordinate chart it is possible to introduce an electromagnetic field, potentially alpha such that in which the comma denotes the partial derivative. This is often taken as equivalent to the covariant Maxwell equation from which it is derived. However, there are global solutions of the equation which may lack a globally defined potential. Solutions The solutions of the Einstein field equations are metrics of spacetime. These metrics describe the structure of the spacetime including the inertial motion of objects in the spacetime. As the field equations are nonlinear, they cannot always be completely solved. For example, there is no known complete solution for a space-time with two massive bodies in it. However, approximations are usually made in these cases. These are commonly referred to as post-Newtonian approximations. Even so, there are numerous cases where the field equations have been solved completely, and those are called exact solutions. The study of exact solutions of Einstein's field equations is one of the activities of cosmology. It leads to the prediction of black holes and to different models of evolution of the universe. One can also discover new solutions of the Einstein field equations via the method of orthonormal frames as pioneered by Ellis and McCallum. In this approach, the Einstein field equations are reduced to a set of coupled, nonlinear, ordinary differential equations. As discussed by H.S.U. and Wayne Wright, self-similar solutions to the Einstein field equations are fixed points of the resulting dynamical system. New solutions have been discovered using these methods by LeBlanc and Coley and Haslam. The linearized FA. The nonlinearity of the FA makes finding exact solutions difficult. One way of solving the field equations is to make an approximation, namely, that far from the source of gravitating matter. The gravitational field is very weak and the spacetime approximates that of Minkowski space. The metric is then written as the sum of the Minkowski metric and a term representing the deviation of the true metric from the Minkowski metric with terms that are quadratic in or higher powers of the deviation being ignored. This linearization procedure can be used to investigate the phenomena of gravitational radiation. Polynomial form One might think that FA are non-polynomial since they contain the inverse of the metric tensor. However, the equations can be arranged so that they contain only the metric tensor and not its inverse. First, the determinant of the metric in four dimensions can be written using the Levice of eta symbol, and the inverse of the metric in four dimensions can be written as substituting this definition of the inverse of the metric into the equations then multiplying both sides by det until there are none left in the denominator results in polynomial equations in the metric tensor and its first and second derivatives. The action from which the equations are derived can also be written in polynomial form by suitable redefinitions of the fields. 